Hey gang, Danny here, and um, today we're going to be uh, exploring more of Floor 23, I think. Um, so without further ado, let's get to it. And um, get down to the Lost in Jingu. So far, um, this set of levels doesn't seem too bad. Um, obviously some of the enemies are pretty tough, but overall I think we're doing okay. Um, it's definitely been a lot less painful to explore these areas than it has on um, exploring the fourth stratum, put it that way. Uh, that goes without saying, to be honest. Uh, I'm just going to make a quick detour here to chop down some stuff here. Okay. I think this should be good enough. No strong attack for you today, Mr. Rabbit. Get the duke. Uh, there was some certain type of blood that I needed as well as like some stuff I needed to mine. Um, oh yeah, there's a down over here, isn't there? There is. Okay, so... You continue down the corridor in mysterious ruins. At the immediate end of a corridor, a wall is obstructing your path. Before you turn head back, you notice a paper yellowed with age lying on the floor. You vaguely make out the words on the paper. It seems the verge is disintegrating. Nast left. I, you just all caught in internal life. Anyway, about Crystal, husband, the clone, he's a solitary person. It's so cruel. But you make out the entire message, a paper turns to dusty hand. You've been extremely up, must have been extremely long nothing else here. Try your side to keep this place. So yeah, like, um... Obviously something went wrong in Tokyo. I completely forgot it, like, it's pretty obvious that, like, the, the, the stairs furthest away from anything other ones that are going to be leading towards progress. It's just how this game works. Um, at this point. Oh, D limits been reached. Okay, that's good. New attack. Cool, that's that taken care of. We're not struggling too hard versus the enemies here as well, which is nice. Um, Let's, uh, let's... Oh, 
share the amount of um, TP that's being used here. But yeah, that was actually a really nice, uh, really nice fight for us. Um, just use a basic cure on you, it'll be fine. Get to the tech. Now we don't need to go too ham on this guy here. Um, we could have killed him in turn one, but. I don't think it's particularly worth it. Uh, okay, we definitely should re up the stalker now because. Uh, it might actually be worth leveling up the TP of our. Uh, Defender a little bit here. Um, oh, this preemptive attack stuff is so good. So that's that taken go. Okay, we only just applied it, so I believe there's a mining point down here, so I'm gonna quickly go tap that up before we continue onwards, I think. Now remember, we need, I think it's like four drywall for a quest. This, ga this game's not going to give me any of that now. <laughs> uh, now that I actually need it. But that will effectively give us a bunch of stuff for us to do. Oh wow, they put everyone to sleep. Great! Probably use a sound just to make sure that everyone's okay. Kill one of the plants. Refresh everyone, I think. For fuck's sake, these stupid fucking plants. Oh, 
Look at him. He's like annoying more than anything. Alright, so. Hear him with a cure too, but it should be enough to, like, at least to heal him up for a little bit. Don't need to go super ham on it. You did use a bunch of healing just a minute ago, so... Alright, now we need to go into zoomed in mode here because we're about to... Spool Warper's Dungeon. Oh, yeah, okay, is Stalker on? It's about to run out. And the encounter rate here must be fucking crazy because it's already on red, like... Oh, now you're new. Uh, stun it. Uh, trying to save its legs. Uh, hit it with flame. Bend. Oh, it's not that crazy. Okay, but. Oh, right. That thing's the thing with gold fur. I noted. Right, so that's a door. Check the rest of this area just in case. Yeah, let's true shot this guy once and maybe give him a little bit of fire. We don't want to use up too much TP on one guy. The whole gold fur thing might not be so bad to do. Like, we know where to find them now. That's an FOE! Right, the plants need to fucking go, so... So yeah, fuck it, immunize. Let's, let's make it so these guys can't keep casting status effects on us. Oh my god. Yep, yeah. like, of course. Like, how the fuck am I supposed to do anything about this? Attack you, and then pray for the inferno, and then... fuck's sake, this fucking competition, man, like, what is this? Like, what the fuck am I supposed to do about this? Right, Inferno! Gee, yeah, fuck it. Oh, I can't because he's fucking asleep. Alright. Right! Fuck it, refresh.
Fucking of course. don't have any healing magics. I have to do this because Bash might die here. Kill you. If we can first turn Meb and actually get him to cast Inferno, that'd be great. Fuck's sake, this... Man, I gotta come up with some way of combating those things, man. Cause that is crazy. Um... You know what? We're gonna use an Amorit on Luna now. Just so that we can push into the dungeon a little bit further, I think. Um. Okay, so... Looks like we're fighting an FOE. Why have I blocked this thing off? I knew this thing wasn't... King Dial. Ooh, he almost one shots Meb, but he doesn't fully one shot Meb, so that's good. This guy just seems to do one very powerful attack on people. Yeah, we should just... We should just out DPS this guy. Killed the king now. We got a royal hide out of it. Okay, so let's have a little look see here. Goes like that, that's like that. Yeah, we've got to make sure that um, Stalker is active here. Because <laughs> I don't want to have to keep uh, exploring. Hmm. 
this way might be progress. Tusky. Eh? Imagine that's probably worth quite a bit. Um, yeah, let's just use a cure two on you for now. Try and make our TP last as much as possible here. There's an FOE over there. And he's now chasing me. Oh, looks like we're going to have to fight it. Shouldn't be a problem. Uh oh. Alright, uh, back guards. Um, try and hit him with a stunner to try and prevent the attack. Disable his legs. Uh, You know, let's just hit him with a flame, and I guess we'll immunize. Alright, he doesn't like fire. Oh, okay, so this guy isn't too bad. Alright, let's hit him with a trickery. Um, Here, um, thing with a crush, thing with a true shot. Ow, you may as well attempt to like whittle this guy down a bit more here. Yeah, this, this guy ain't, ain't no dang. We got this. Uh, Got him. We got a space claw. <laughs> Don't know what the hell a space claw is, but we have one. We might need to actually go back soon, though. Hmm, and I actually also mapped this incorrectly. I've been doing that a lot recently. I should maybe stop doing that. bit real quick. So there's also a way we can go over here to Ah, fucking Venom. Wondered what the deal is with that guy. Please don't hit Meb. Please don't hit Meb. Thank you. <laughs> God, yeah, we might need to buff up our... Uh... 
Okay, so that goes like that, I'm guessing. Go this way, I think. Okay, so this is a place that's been now been explored. Now, how are the troops looking? Yeah, we got like one or two more fights in us, I think. Oh, what's the actual stalker situation looking like? It's out. We got a. You gotta re-up that before the game decides to throw a billion encounters at us. I'm so glad you can cast magic spells on preemptive attacks, like holy shit. Uh <laughs> Plant's gone. That's like the most annoying enemy. So that guy's gone. Space now! And we earned quite a lot of experience in that too. I guess that is one of the nicer things about doing these tough battles is that we're actually getting quite a lot of experience from it. I do want to see what's down this corridor and then we'll probably go back to base. Alright, so... This goes like that. Oh, of course, there's a fucking FOE here. Because remember, we do have warp, so we can just get out of this situation. Something I actually fully intend to do. Um. Right, we don't need to look there, we know what's there. Let's keep moving forward. Now, this thing can chase after me as much as it likes. Oh, like this this might be a problem though. Um you just gonna have to smite this thing and hope for the best. Yeah I'll do. More gold fur. Right, that thing's caught up to us by one. Anything here? No. Had to make sure just in case there was like something I could mine there or something. This thing is now very close to me, so... Hellball, preemptive attack, excellent. Okay, so... Oh, this guy's doing this Hellball, he's probably immune to fire, right? 
Long would it seem? <laughs> Right, so we're being pursued. Fuck. Alright, well... Yeah, we're gonna have to walk back to town. I chose poorly. Do I, though? Ah, you know what, this is actually probably worth using Amaritas on. Because uh, I want to see what's the end of this um, actual hallway here. If it's this guy, then yeah, we, we, can, we can beat him. I think a T is going to be good for Luna here, so... Try stun on him. He's have a tiny cure, why not? In case he does decide to hit you again. And he doesn't because he's dead. Alright, so we've taken care of that business for now. But we should be heading back soon because uh, you've explored quite a lot of this dungeon, we've gained quite a lot of levels, I don't want to run the risk of- oh, fuck me, really? Fuck off, like... You see me kill two of you other guys already, right? Like, you don't need to do this? Hellball's dead, that's good. Golden fair, got I'm hoping there's a door near here. <laughs> So I can lose this guy. Okay, we killed it before it could do any damage. That's nice. There's a treasure here. Nice. We collect the treasure and we'll get the fuck out of here, I think. A warp wire. Oh, thanks, game.
tell you what, game. We'll, we'll use your warp wire. Um. So, uh, gum thread, red blood, blue blood, and four pieces of drywall. Hmm. I don't think we have any of that shit. Oh, we have one gum thread. Okay, so... Now you got to sell these off individually because you do need one of these, so... Ah, I... I'm not gonna fucking bother doing that test, that guy. Besides, uh, you know, we actually need to stuff ourselves right now. Ooh! Okay, so let's see what what weapons we got here. That seems pretty good. Let's see. Equips here. So yeah, we don't need the swords. Uh, what's the axe looking like? 162. 161. Alright, so... Yeah, we're definitely buying the, um, the upgrades to the sword and bow here. Yeah, that's that's useful for at least somebody, I think. Twenty-five HP. What? I do wonder, actually, what stuff are you using? Oh. Oh, right, okay. That could use a bit of an upgrade. Actually, I think we'd give him the jewel eye then. Because 15 HP in the grand scheme of things doesn't mean all that much if he goes down, so... Yeah, that's a pretty significant increase in attack. And so is that. So, that's good. Oh yeah, we also got you some new boots. Wait, you can't use them? Didn't I buy some boots for someone? Let me sell some stuff. Yeah, I did. Why can't you use the fur boot? Oh, because it's only for magic casters. Okay. Probably should have paid attention to that. What do you want? 
What equipment do you guys have? So you have something gives you plus six and two strength. Ugh. Alright. I think we should buy you some better accessories. Actually, to be fair, I think plus 30 TP would be more useful for this character. That would be like an extra five castings of Crush <laughs> compared to what he's got right now. Uh, well, compared to two strength and four defense, yeah, I'd say that's probably worth it. About the armored guy, let's see what Tarkus has got going on for him. Do we have a bit of shield that we can give him? Is there a better shield that I can buy? No, no, there isn't. <laughs> Fuck. All right, well. can't use it. That is interesting. Wait, did I just buy something for a character that can't use it? Oh man, that sucks. It's for a class we don't have. For fuck's sake. Well, that sucks. You only lost a, f a couple of thousand out of that. Um. No, well, we have upgraded our team, though, so that's good. Um. Actually, they're like. Yeah. Wait a minute. Oh, right, you can definitely use a better boot. Right, let's see. Right, now, actually pay attention this time. Let's see if we can... You can't use the fancy boot. Use this dive boot. And that would actually be a pretty significant upgrade for you. Tiger hand. Rune glove. Rune gloves are pretty good. Yeah, actually, weirdly enough, that glove is actually probably... Probably the best thing we got from right now. <laughs> a hey, there you go. That's up to his defense and agility quite a bit, which means uh, they'll probably act a bit quicker. I think we should also buy this for our ranger as well. I don't see the wisdom in not doing that. Like, we're already quite low on money. Um, may as well make the most of it. At this point, we're good. Because if you check our, uh, you check our like stats now, most of our characters actually have like decent weapons. Um, like we have stuff that does over 180 damage, sort of thing. So I think that's actually going to be good for us. Uh,
Hmm. Oh, right, yeah, I've also realised something. We used a bunch of Amaritas. We used two, didn't we? So we have to restock those. Yep. Uh... Guess we rest up and call it an episode. So thank you very much for joining me, guys. When we return, um, we will, um, I guess, push further into the dungeons. I'll see you guys then. Goodbye.